Tommy Sign. Thank you for joining me today. If you're ready, let's hop right into what happened in AI this week. This week, President Biden signed an important executive order looking to tackle the risks associated with artificial intelligence. Now, this order requires companies to report any potential AI risks uh, that could help create mass destruction weapons. Uh, it also targets deep fakes uh, that could manipulate the elections or scam consumers. Now, according to the New York Times, this step by Biden shows an effort by US to lead in AI regulations. In line with AI safety measures, OpenAI, the company behind ChatGPT and other AI models, is forming a team to examine catastrophic risks related to AI. Uh, that's what the company said here in this recent blog. They said they want to answer questions like how dangerous are cutting edge AI systems when put in misuse and how they can build safeguards against uh, such threats. The company went on to say they're going to focus on areas ranging from cybersecurity to chemical and nuclear threats. Well, Chad GPT has been so busy putting out new features around the clock. This week, two new features you might want to give it a try. First up is the multimodal feature, which is going to allow you to juggle multiple, modal, uh, multiple modes without switching tools or going back and forth. Uh, so, for example, you can upload an image or a data set, have ChatGPT extract that data or text from the file, and then analyze it, visualize it with Dolly, uh, and then export it as you wish. You can see uh, in this example here with, this, with these images that were generated based on Denver's current weather and time. It's pretty precise, actually. Very fascinating. But there's more. You can also upload PDFs and other file formats directly into ChatGPT now. And by the way, heads up, ChatGPT does roll out features gradually. So if you don't see it in your app right now directly, just wait a few days. I'll be there. While well, ChatGPT is leading the AI race with the daily feature releases, Google isn't taking its foot off the gas either. Their Gemini model is rumored to match or even take over this crazy race. Uh, rumor has it Gemini, which is hyped to be the GPT-4 killer, is gearing up with its multimodal capabilities as well. And it's going to be handling images, audio, and video alongside text. Uh, looks just like Chad GPT to me, by the way. And with new features like stubs, uh, apparently creating apps could be just a text prompt away. And by the way, this is all speculation. Uh, and it's not confirmed until it's confirmed by Google. Before you go, let me drop some numbers on you with this rivalry. Uh, according to the Wall Street Journal, Google is investing another $2 billion in AI firm Anthropic. Uh, now, if you recall, Google already dropped $500 million up front with Anthropic. And if you don't know Anthropic, uh, they're a big rival to ChatGPT and OpenAI. But the numbers don't stop there. This news uh, follows Amazon's $4 billion investment into Anthropic back in September. Uh, now, Anthropic is using these funds to train its AI systems like Claude. Uh, I mean, come on, it, it's so good to be Anthropic, isn't it? But speaking of numbers, I do have to give you the other side of the fence, the rival OpenAI has also raked in $13 billion from Microsoft since 2019, and they are supposed to continue building better versions of ChatGPT. Guys, this is becoming one heck of a very expensive rivalry. All right, guys, that's all the AI headlines I have for you this week. Did you enjoy the stories? What would you like to hear more of? Let me know in the comments, and I'll see you next week with more news and technology.